Welcome to the Blades to Be Shop. Quick video today around the design on this micro rectangular or magazine style spring for this triple BS knife lock. The most consistent feedback I received at the Blade Show in Atlanta was around the spring tension or the force it took to unlock and close this knife. So I took the feedback and made some adjustments. Went back to Newcomb Spring here in Dallas, Texas, and we worked through several versions and tried a lot of things to get this spring right. And I had no idea the impact such little tweaks could make to the feel of the spring, wire size, coil count, the end style, overall dimensions of the spring. All of those make a huge difference in how that spring feels, how it feels in the slot. Newcomb, they were great to work with on this design. There's no spring calculators or formulas that deal with magazine style springs this small. And the round spring models are just not a match for these small rectangular springs. So Newcomb said this is the smallest magazine style spring they've ever made. And I searched a lot of spring companies before finding one, even willing to give this design a try. So here's a quick look at the machine loaded up with the spool of stainless wire. And here's a couple of shots of the different end designs we tried to come up with to give a good surface up against the pin. So you've got just a standard end of the spring, we tried a coil ending in the middle of the spring. And finally, we came up with the last coil angling across the middle of the spring. And that was the design that worked the best. Uh, that's what we ended up producing. So there's several different types of coiling machines. And this one, typically used for round springs, had the capability to be programmed for these small magazine style rectangular springs. So we kept changing the input parameters, or Newcomb kept changing the input parameters until they got it just right. And after testing a few with the final dimensions, they ran off a production batch for me and got me out the door. All right. All that work and effort doesn't feel like much when it's done. It's like, uh, I don't know, half an ounce or so for a thousand springs in this bag. But again, they, uh, they turned out great. I think they're going to do just what I need to. Here's a couple of close-ups. You can really see exactly what that spring looks like when it's all done. And just for a quick size comparison, here they are up against a penny. So this new lighter spring, it feels great in the knife, in my opinion, and I can't wait till the next show to get this back in the hands of a few hundred folks, like all of you listening and watching this video. Would love to get your opinion on what you think this spring feels like compared to what I had out there before. These knives are available now on my website at bladestobe.com. That's www.bladesiib.com or www.bladesthenumber2b.com. Dot com. Check them out if you're interested and thanks for checking out the channel. I hope you get out there and check out some of the other videos on this channel. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, drop a like, drop a comment on here. Would love to hear from you. Till I get that next video complete, y'all take care.